Hi, welcome to Salesforce Topics channel. In this section, let us discuss about user managed sharing, which comes under Salesforce record sharing techniques. In this sharing technique, user is going to manage his record sharing. That is, user is going to manually share his records to other users if required. Let's take an example where Tech2 user has 10 records but he wants to assign only one record to Tech3 user. As he wants to share only one record to Tech3 user, none of the managed sharing record techniques that is OWD, role hierarchy, sharing rules will help us here. For more details on OWD, role hierarchy, sharing rules, please go through my earlier video. In this scenario, we may need to go for the other sharing technique that is user managed sharing technique because he wants to share only one of his record. So he can go to that record and manually he can share it to the tech tree. Please note that he can share it to the individual users or certain roles or public groups. For example, one of his record if he wants to share to a particular role that is sales tech role. He can manually go to that record and share it to the sales tech role. Not all the users can share a record, only a owner of the record because owner of the record will have the complete full access and a user in a role above the owner in the hierarchy because he will have the full access on the record and any user granted with full access to the record and then obviously an administrator can perform the record sharing because administrator has the full access on all the records of the org with view all data and modify all data permissions. For a given record, either of these permitted users can share either read only or read write permissions to user and or public group and or role and or role and subordinates. In order to perform the manual sharing on a record, that records objects OWD should be either private or public read only. If OWD of that records object is public read write, then there won't be any sharing option available on that record because all the public already have read write access. So for our demo, I have set the OWD of service request object as private. To manually share one of the tech 2's records to tech 3, I am logging in as tech 2. I have logged in as tech 2, I am taking his own record and here we would see the sharing option. Once we click on the sharing option, it gets displayed with a list of options to whom we can share that is user, public groups or role or role and subordinate. In this case, we want to share it to the particular user. So I am going to search for an user that is Tech3 user. Then we can select either read only or read write. Here we want to share only the read only. So I am keeping the read only here and clicking on save. Now the record has been shared to the Tech3 user. Let me log in as Tech3 user and see whether he has the access on this record or not. He should be having only the read only access. I am logging in as a Tech3 user. I have logged in as a Tech3 user and I am checking for all the records. Yes, now he got access to the Tech2's record. That's why he is able to see. Let me open this Tech2's record. Though he has these buttons, he will not be able to edit, delete, change because he got only the read access from the owner of the Tech2's record that is from Tech2 user. Let's try to edit this record. He, he gets insufficient privilege error. Let me go back and try to delete. He will not be able to delete.
as tech2 user manually shared read only permission to the tech3 user tech3 user can only read this record he will not be able to edit delete or change its owner as tech2 user manually shared this records read only permission to the tech3 user the tech3 user now only can read this record he will not be able to perform edit delete change and also he will not be able to again transfer it to the other users as he does not have full access on this record similarly if tech2 user wants to share this record to the public group then he can select the public group then select the public group and then he can give either read only or read write permission and click on save same way he can manually assign the record sharing to role and role and subordinates let's consider the scenario the owner of the record has shared his record manually to other user now the owner of the record has been changed in this case what happens to the manually shared record accesses in this case salesforce revokes all the manual shares done by earlier owner new owner of the record will have to give sharing manually for the required users again for example tech3 user is now able to see the tech2's record because he got the read only access from the tech2 on this tech2's record now let me change the owner of the tech2's records to tech1 so i am going to change the owner of this record from tech2 to tech1 so another user so that we will see the effect of manual sharing that he has done earlier user tech1 user now owns the sr created by tech2 now if you go to the tech3's login and if you refresh this you will not be able to see the tech2's record because the owner of the tech2's record has been changed please note that if there is a master detail relationship for the detail records we do not have any manual sharing option only at the parent level record user can perform the manual sharing and once the parent record is been manually shared the same access goes to the child detail record we have a master detail relationship between service request and spare part object spare part is a detail object now i have logged in as a tech1 user and under this record he has one spare part wherein he can go and see the sharing rights he does not have any sharing button here because it is a detail he can share the parent record so that the detail record also would get shared in this session we have covered user managed record sharing in the next session we are going to cover apex managed record sharing thanks for watching we will meet in the next session